Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be testing out the Be Coyote products that I got from Silent Empire when they opened this morning. So I was the first one in line and I, so I was able to go into the Silent Empire store and have some of the products tried out on me before I bought them. Um, so there's a free goodie bag. I got their powder foundation in the shade MF02, which I'm going to be trying out. I also got a loose highlighter, which is really pretty. I had that tried on me in the store. I also got their Liquid Magic, which is like a serum that you put on after your primer, but before your foundation. I also got a lipstick, and that's in the shade Impulse. So that's a nice darkish pink shade, which will go nicely with my eyeshadow that I did already. I thought I'd do that off camera. And I also got a lip gloss in the shade Soft Pink. So I'll swatch that for you now. It's really a, quite a nice shade. So there's that one there. And I'll swatch the lipstick for you too. There we go. So they're both really pretty colours. Um, so off camera I did my brows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade and for my eyeshadow I used this palette by Makeup Revolution it's the Eyes Like Angels palette it still has the plastic in it so I know what shades are which because there's a fair few of them but I used this shade here I used this shade here I used this one and I used that one for my inner corner Okay, so with the Liquid Magic Serum, you only have to apply a little bit, but you do have to wait a while for it to all soak in. So it's just like an oil. And I can't really describe the smell, but it's just like a, a sweetish kind of smell, I suppose. So you have to wait for this to completely soak in before putting on your powder foundation otherwise it won't work properly use it to tidy up my eyeshadow there at the side so the ingredients in this is apricot herb hernal oil macadamia oil jojoba oil rosehip oil Cherry hernal oil, avocado oil, evening primrose oil, vitamin E, lavender, lemon, geranium, frankincense, and rose essential oils. So lots of oils all combined. And this is a 30 ml bottle. Okay, so I've left that for about 10, 15 minutes just to soak in a bit. And it feels pretty nice now. So I'm going to go ahead and use the foundation. I think I just got a bit of swatch on my face. So yeah, my skin isn't the best right now, which is probably a good time to try out the foundation. So to apply this, uh, you need a kabuki brush. So I've got one of those by Nude by Nature. They did have some in the store, but because I already had one that I barely use, because I don't normally use powder foundation, I thought I would use this one. Now what you have to do is tap some into the lid. And then you just pop your kabuki brush in, tap off the excess, and you just work it into your skin. Now Be Coyote do have a liquid foundation as well. Um, and that was an extra that would have been ten dollars extra. Um, but as I don't really use powder foundation, I thought it would be a good time to to try it. Now with this foundation you just have to use a little bit at a time and work it in. So it's a medium coverage foundation if you put a few layers on you can build it up to be to be full coverage but yeah you just have to use a little bit at a time and rub it all in using soft circular motions. 
and it just depends on how how your skin is as to how many layers you might need to use. And what the liquid magic does is when you've rubbed it all in and then you use this powder foundation, it's turning the powder into a liquid foundation. So yeah, turning the powder into a liquid. I was really excited because I was the first one in line, got up nice and early. And I, was, I even beat everyone who works there to the store too. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> and it was the first 200 people through the door that got a free goodie bag. However, because they had a fair few goodie bags left over, I believe everybody got one, which was really good. already covering up a fair bit of the different pigmentation on my skin little lumps and bumps and thank you everyone who's subscribed to my channel so far and given my videos lots of views and likes I really really appreciate it I'm Hoping to have 50 subscribers by January next year. However, I'm already past 40. I think I'm at 42 at the moment. So thank you everyone for subscribing. If I manage to get that soon, I guess my new goal will be 75 subscribers. That would be awesome. You just got to keep working this into your skin. And they did have a concealer there at the store as well, but I didn't grab it because I have a lot of concealers. But I reckon this powder would be really good for um, like just chucking some on before work because it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything at all, which is really good. I think we're going to go with maybe one more layer. Tipping a bit out every time. Keep dipping your kabuki brush in the lid, tapping off the excess, and then just circular motions. Use the rest that's in my lid just while it's there. And I'll post in the description the shades that I used of the Makeup Revolution palette um, in case you wanted to grab it and see which colours I used. That looks pretty good now. Okay. So. I may do a little bit of contour. I didn't grab a powder contour or anything, so I'm just going to quickly use my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula just to give a little bit shape to my face before I continue with the B Coyote products. So yeah, I've got a few products in my goodie bag, but obviously I didn't get everything, so... May as well complete the look with just other products I've got here.
So I really think that foundation's done pretty well with a few layers. I've managed to kind of even out my skin. Yeah, when I uploaded my newest video, like my last video, um, YouTube was kind of playing up on me, so it was pretty much saying that I had like you know, been up a few hours and I'd had nine views. And even though you know I'm obviously grateful for every view that I get and every subscribe, but I was kind of worrying, thinking that it wasn't as good as my last one or that it probably needed to be a bit longer because obviously the one before that was like nearly 18 minutes long and this one was under five. But then eventually it kind of refreshed and I was like, oh, people did like it. So that was a bit of a relief there. Okay, I'm done with my bronzer now. So now I'm going to use the same Kabuki brush. And I'm going to go in with the loose powder highlighter here. I believe they only do one shade because it doesn't have a shade like on the sticker there. It just says highlighter. So again, I'm going to tap a little bit in my lid here. Kind of went everywhere there. Okay. Now I'm going to dip my brush in. Tap off the excess back into the pan. So I'm not wasting as much product. And then small motions again, the same way you do the foundation. You can especially see it there on my nose. More glowy now. I'm gonna go in a bit harder with the highlighter because you can never have too much. blinding highlight a little bit here on my head around the temple area okay now on to the lips So I got the shade Impulse in the lipstick. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this. lips are a little bit dry but probably doesn't look as good as it could but I really like that shade it's really nice not too dark and it goes with my eye makeup so that's good and now I'm going to use the lip gloss that was in the shade soft pink I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the top And I'd say that's the finished look now. So yeah, all in all, I'm really impressed with the products. Um, the foundation does take a bit of working into your skin, obviously, and you have to do a few layers to get it to where you want it, but it really doesn't feel as heavy as a liquid foundation. So I'll definitely be using this 
um, when I feel like doing my makeup before work and I really like the loose highlighter too it's pretty glowy so I hope you all like the look and if you're in Albury or around the local area and go check out Silent Empire store um, they're in AMP Lane in Albury thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye